a first look at Excel 2013. Excel's new startup view is designed to help you quickly choose from one of the many available templates. This also includes a blank workbook, as well as a list of your recently opened workbooks. On the right side you will see a list of available templates. The left side displays a list of recently opened workbooks, as well as options to navigate to other workbooks. I'm going to go ahead and open up this subtotal workbook. As we look at the interface here, you'll see up in the upper left, above the File tab and the Home tab, a small little mini toolbar. It's called the Quick Access Toolbar. In this toolbar we can add all kinds of buttons. We have a drop down arrow just to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar that shows us some of the more popular options. You just check or uncheck any of these command buttons and they'll be placed or removed from the Quick Access Toolbar. If you're looking for more commands, you can go out to the More Commands option. And this will show you a list of all of the available buttons. Any of those buttons can be added to your Quick Access Toolbar. Below the Quick Access Toolbar is the File tab. The File tab is called Backstage View, and the Backstage View has a lot of great options. Information about your current workbook. New, for creating a new workbook or grabbing one of the Microsoft templates. Open, we can actually go out and open a recent workbook here. Or we can navigate to different locations, SkyDrive or even your computer, to find a workbook. Save will save your workbook, and Save As will give you options for saving your workbook, such as where is the location that you'd like to save it, SkyDrive, computer, or you can even browse your folders. Print will give you an option to see your workbook in both Print Preview with the Print dialog box on the left side. Share is a way that we can go ahead and email this particular workbook to others by sending it as an attachment or even converting it to a PDF. Export gives us the opportunity to create this workbook into a PDF or change its file extension. And Close will of course close out the workbook, but not close out the Excel program. As I go back out to File, notice where I end up in the Open and we're looking at the recent workbooks. We have tabs across the top here and as we click on the tabs you'll see a ribbon. So this is called a ribbon that's down below the tabs and as I click on any of the tabs a ribbon of colorful buttons is displayed. Now you may be looking at a lot of these buttons and really not sure what the buttons purpose or what you would use it for. So what Microsoft did is they created enhanced screen tips. So watch as I hover over this little paintbrush. Notice the description on how to use or what the paintbrush's purpose is. And as I slide over, you'll see some of them, like bold, is not going to be you know, too lengthy with the description. But as we move over, we're going to be able to get some really nice descriptions here, letting you know how to use these particular buttons. So enhanced screen tips are certainly going to help you as you're kind of navigating the ribbon and figuring out what buttons you'll be using. So on the Home tab, this is the kind of the general tab, and they have a lot of great getting started buttons. As you start to move forward and in inserting and changing your page layout, well then you want to go, of course, to the additional tabs. But looking at the Home tab, some great, great features here with formatting, alignment, numbers, with a nice little drop down now for formatting. We even have some styles, conditional formatting and format as a table are really great options that are available. You have some cell options for inserting and deleting and even formatting your cells. You have sorting and filtering can be found here and also your find and select options can be found under here. As you move to the insert tab you're going to find some really great options such as pivot tables and one of the things that 2013 does that's really nice is they have some recommended options for you like recommended pivot tables, recommended charts. We have the slicer and timeline. We even have the power view. So these are some new views and options that are available in 2013. As we get to page layout, we're really looking at this page setup. This is the most popular area. And this little dialog box launcher right here. So this little dialog box launcher, if I click on it, will open up the old familiar page setup dialog box with all of our different choices across the top here to set up our page before we print it. As we get to formulas, you're looking at really the functions library, a breakdown of your functions, a great defined names for naming cells, and even some formula auditing tools are available. 
As we move into data, we're looking at getting some external data, some connections, sorting and filtering are displayed out here. And we also have some great data tools such as remove duplicates and text to columns. Even data validation can be found here as well. And notice as I hover over data validation that it does describe what that command or option is used for. Under review, you're looking for things such as protecting your worksheet. Maybe you're going to collaborate with others, so you want to put track changes on, or you might even be using comments. Spell check is found here as well. Under view, you have different viewing options, and one of the areas that are is probably the most popular would be the freeze panes area right here. You can also create macros from this option here. As we look generally at the interface here, and I'm going to go into the name box here, so whatever cell I click into, you can see it's displayed here in the name box. You'll see that this is the formula bar, and wherever I click, you should see that information displayed in the formula bar. This little box just above the one and to the left of A is the select all box, and it does that exactly. It selects the entire spreadsheet. We have columns starting with column A, and we now have 16,384 columns in this new workbook. And our rows start with number one, and we end up with 1,048,576 rows. When we start with a new workbook, we're going to only end up with one worksheet. To add more worksheets, you would click on the plus button. You also have some different viewing options. Normal is what the view is by default, but we have a view called Page Layout. So if you've used Microsoft Word before, this looks very similar to being like in a Word document. You get to see the structure of that document or the page layout, and you can see where the margins are, and you can see where this is going to break to a second page. You also have the option of Page Break Preview, and this is where you can set your page breaks. I'm going to go back to the Normal button. And we also have this zooming scale down here that allows us to zoom in and out depending on the zooming level that we would like to view this workbook with. And that is a first look at Excel 2013.